we live in a changing world, and our minds change. So where are you going to find something of really solid value? This is what the Buddha offers, some principles that don't change. What he said about truth, suffering is always true. What he said about the way to the end of suffering is always true. That's why he focused on these things, because they're of permanent value and of genuine value, too. I mean, there are a lot of things that last, but they're not all that useful. But this is something that was brought up from the past that really does have relevance to what we're doing right now. We're still suffering. But we all have the way to develop qualities within ourselves that can take us past that. So that's what we're focusing on as we come here. What are we doing to cause suffering, and what can we do to put an end to it? I mean, the suffering and stress that come from other things, a lot of that is just simply part of the world. Things change, and because they change, there's a lot of stress in trying to find happiness in them. But they don't really weigh down the mind unless you pull them in and try to make your happiness depend on them. So look at where you're pulling things in unnecessarily, where you're gobbling them down, and then complaining that you've got a stomachache. Maybe it's time you stop gobbling those things down. At the very least, look for better food. This is what the path is, especially the concentration we're working on. This is really good food for the mind. It's nourishing it. It's healing for the mind. And it puts you in a position where you can see things a lot more clearly for yourself. Because when the Buddha talks about the noble truths, and that's what the word noble means, it's something that has universal value. He wants you to test them for yourself, not just accept the fact that that's the way they are, but he wants them to be tested. Because when you test them, that's when you get the results from them. So always hold on to these things. He said, as the Buddha said, are his categorical teachings, the ones that are true across the board. And as long as you hold on to these, you've got something really reliable in the face of all the change that we experience both inside and out.